Good day kids! Welcome back again to my channel. Today, we are going to have our lesson in science for week 1. To start with, take a look at the picture. What does the children do in the picture? Do you know what is the traditional Filipino game? If your answer is patentero, you are correct. Do you experience to play patentero with your friends? Okay, so what are you going to do in order to win in the game? Do players need to move while playing the patentero? Body movements in any games are necessary to play the game properly and of course to win. Motion and energy are relatively important in our daily life. Motion and energy work together to make things easier for us. Through the help of force, motion can be achieved. Without motion, we cannot do work and enjoy life. Life is so boring without any movement or any motion in it, isn't it? For today's lesson, we are going to discuss measuring motion in terms of distance and time. For today's lesson, our objectives is to describe the motion of an object by tracing and measuring its change in position or the distance traveled over a period of time. By definition, motion is a change of position with respect to its reference point, meaning there is motion if you change your position from one place to another. On the other hand, we define reference point as a fixed place or an object used to determine the position of the object. Pull or push as part of exerting force may also relative on the distance on the object when it is moved from one point to another. However, distance is a measure of how far or near two points are from another. It can be measured using different ways such as time, landmark, or body parts. There are appropriate tools and ways to measure distance so that you can tell whether the object is near or far. Distance is measured by using tools such as ruler, meter stick, tape measure, measuring wheel, and ultrasonic distance measurer. Distance covered by a moving object is affected by speed or the measure of how fast it moves. The speed of an object can be calculated by dividing the distance covered by an object in motion by the time spent to cover the distance. So this is the formula of speed. Speed is equal to distance covered over time or distance covered divided by time. Let's try this example. Cassie walked for 300 seconds with 6 meters from home to school. What is her speed? So the speed formula is again speed is equal to distance divided by time. We're going to find out what the speed is and the given our distance traveled which is 6 meters and the time which is 300 seconds. So we are just going to divide 6 meters divided by 300 seconds. And the answer is 200 meters per second. So the final answer is Cassie has a speed of 200 meters per second. And that ends our lesson for today. Thank you very much kids for watching once again. And please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more video updates. See you next time!